Yes, we're on. Hello. Good evening. Welcome to Monday evening. Hello, guys. How are we? Uh, this is Joe Martin, happy and healthy with Jay. I'm just going to give you guys um, a few minutes, a couple of minutes to jump on this. This fantastic little informative session I'm going to be doing just um, following last night on um, helping you guys to feel less bloated. So, um, if you are around um, and you want to say hi, give us a little thumbs up, tell us where you are, um, if there's anything exciting you are, you've been doing today, um, and I'll just give you guys a couple of minutes. Hey Mickey, we've got Mickey, how are you doing Mickey? I haven't seen you down the gym recently. Alright, let's see if we've got anyone else jumping on this uh, Facebook Live tonight. Oh, of course, Karen Sutcliffe is here. Hey, Karen. How are you doing, Karen? Tina, how are you? Tina, all the way from lovely Sweden. Tanisha, how are you doing, Tanisha? Welcome, guys. Welcome, everybody. Welcome on. Welcome on. Um, yeah, so uh, I hope you've been enjoying my um, Facebook tips I've been doing. I have had some awesome feedback from some people, uh, which is brilliant because, you know, uh, that's what it's about. Here, here to help you guys and give give as much value as I can, really, with, with my own um, basic experience. So um, I am healthy with Jay, a.k.a. Um, Joe Martin, uh, health coach. So I, um, I was on last night, uh, if you guys have seen, and what I was doing was giving you uh, just some tips on that dreaded, bloated feeling that many of us get around our middle. Um, it's really, really common, and uh, I'm going to take you guys back four years uh, when I was, uh, let's say, suffering the bloat. So um, I, I've been a uh, fitness instructor for, well... A long time since 2002 um and you know so just imagine i uh, was going into a fitness class this was well a good few years back so kind of quite quite a tight top um and someone come up to me and they said joe uh when is your baby due and i kind of looked at them and i said uh i'm not actually pregnant uh now that is not a good sign um the thing is guys that happened a few times um back a few years ago Joe, when is the baby due? Uh, I didn't realise you were pregnant. So clearly I was suffering from the bloat. Um, some of the time I just answered, oh, um, I eat too many carbohydrates, that kind of thing. But really thinking back, yeah, I was quite bloated. And I I know the reason now, but I didn't think back then. Um, so basically I've taken a few changes in lifestyle over the past year. Uh, and now luckily for me, uh, the bloating is, is gone. Uh, so no one now says to me, Joe, when is the baby due? That, that no longer happens, luckily. Um, but I know people struggles with this. So all I'm going to basically do is tell you some of the things I've done, some of the things I've changed, which have massive, massively helped me to no longer feel the bloat. Um, so let's begin. Uh, I've got a whole, a whole list of things here, but some of the things I do. So Okay, what I used to do, uh, I used to have most of my calories for dinner. So I would have this massive, massive dinner. And a lot of the time, it was like a big bowl of pasta, because I used to love pasta. So I would have this massive bowl of pasta, because I thought, well, I haven't eaten that much. And boy, was I bloated from it. But I thought, that's fine. You know, I do all the workout, all the exercise. Um, you know, because I was still teaching, you know, uh, what, 15... 15 hours of exercise a week, yet still people asking me if I was pregnant. Not, not, not good. Um, so what I've done now is I've changed that one big meal and I eat little every two, three hours during the day. And that is so much better. It's better for your blood sugar. Um, and you will, by not having such a massive, massive um, meal in one go, you will definitely feel less bloated, as has happened to me. So that's first thing. Um, second thing, I used to drink copious amounts of tea, like real builder's tea. I used to drink a lot. So a good few cups a day. Now, I love tea. I really love tea. But what I've done, actually, is I've swapped my builder's tea. And what I drink now is green tea. And I love green tea. And it's actually full of antioxidants. And um, 
I feel actually a lot, lot better. And the weird thing is that I no longer kind of crave real tea. I mean, I have it sometimes, but nowhere near what I used to have. So that's the second thing I've done. I've, I've now drink a lot of green tea. The other thing with green tea, it really does help control your sugar cravings uh, because the antioxidants in it. So my cravings I used to have, which is another reason why I was bloated, that, that's no more. So I no longer have the cravings, which is awesome. Um, second, sorry, third thing, um, a swap. So I used to eat like a packet of biscuits, um, not biscuits, uh, crisps. So I, I'd have like for lunch, like, I don't know, like a sandwich sometimes, add a bag of crisps. That was just kind of habit. Not very healthy. The crunch. Yet we love the crunch. So I've swapped crisps for a handful of nuts. So, so much better, uh, more protein and just, just better in nutrition for you. So, so I no longer really, no longer have crisps. Well, I'll have like a couple, but it's not like a regular habit. Tanisha, do you drink the Lipton green tea? Um, I'm not sure the make, it's uh, with jasmine. Well, there's a few I have. So I have like the normal green and there's, there's a green tea and jasmine, which is, oh, it's good. Um, but you can see there, there's loads of different ones. Um, so you can just try loads of different them, see what you like. Okay, um, so this is uh, another thing I used to do, which encouraged the bloating. Uh, biscuits, ouch. Uh, this was the craving I used to have. It was really bad. I did I used to have a really bad diet. Um, so I used to have bad sugar cravings. I used to probably eat, um, I would say six biscuits a day, maybe more because of my craving. So obviously that didn't help my bloating. Now, um, or, or chocolate as well, biscuits, chocolate every single day, that's gone. I've now swapped that for a protein bar. So gone, no longer craving. And, and again, helped. So tummy getting flatter. This is good. Another thing I used to do, I used to remember, I used to have a desk job, I used to sit at my desk, and some of the time for lunch, I would have this massive, massive jacket potato, um, with beans and cheese, which was, oh, it was delicious, but boy, an hour later, was I exhausted, I was so tired, I would, like, have to fight to stay awake at my desk, because it was just such a carb-heavy lunch, and a carb-heavy lunch, number one, will bloat you out, as it did me, uh, why people were asking if I was pregnant um, and it will just make you feel exhausted give yourself like an hour two hours after eating something like that knackered absolutely knackered so the big massive jacket potatoes um I've now swapped actually um what I normally have instead is sweet potato um and this is this is lovely it's it's lower in um lower GI so it's not going to spike your blood sugar. And what I'll do when I have sweet potato, I'll put some protein with it. So I won't have these massive, massive jacket potatoes anymore. So I've, I've swapped that as well, um, which which is much, much better. I feel much, much better. Next thing, um, white rice. I used to eat a lot of white rice. Now, there's nothing wrong with rice, but it's the white rice. It, it's not the best rice. So if you're going to have rice... Um, like whole grain but what i've done is i've swapped my white rice and i now have either bulgur wheat or quinoa now have any of you tried bulgur wheat and quinoa no answer okay bulgur wheat and quinoa is really good for you and it does not bloat you out so this is another change i've done which has helped me massively bulgur wheat and quinoa you can get from the supermarket in um you can get it in like the dry food section um so, so if you have a look there and it's so easy to make you literally boil it up um, and you can mix it with with anything you like um, and it tastes so good okay so that's another thing that I have changed so you see there's quite a few things here guys um this is the big one the big one for me the massive change for me I used to have this massive carb breakfast which which consisted of basically a bowl of cereal and toast and two slices of toast again that is just full on carb. So an hour after that, again, knackered, and all the carb will bloat you out, me out. Um, so what I've done is I've been that now, and now I have this, this nice big protein shake, which is my breakfast. And in that I blend fruit, or I put natural yogurt, some flax seeds. Um, and so I, so number one, the energy level is so much better. And number two, the bloating, gone, no more. 
So that makes a massive, massive difference. Um, another thing, you see there's quite a few. I used to be quite a kind of um, lazy snacker. So I think, oh, I need to eat something. So I just literally uh, go to the bread bin, take out a bit of bread. This is any time of the day, just slice, just, just put a bit of uh, butter on it and that would be like a snack. Now, again, full carb, no protein. Again, bread, what does it do? Bloat. So all these things um, were just kind of really making me... Um, so now that's gone. And what I do now is I've got a good replacement for that. This is very good, guys. Um, instead of bread, if I want to kind of snack on something, I want a bit of crunch, I go for um, rice cake, organic rice cake, um, and some peanut butter. It's lovely. If you go for the peanut butter, go for the one without the all the sugar. And there's, there's one you can get without all the palm oil as well. Um, so I can post a picture up of that as well. But that um, that is actually one of my favourite snacks. And I really recommend it. It's a great replacement for any of these heavy carb snacks that you guys might be having. Yeah, rice cake, couple of rice cakes, um, spread on some peanut butter, no cravings, loads of water and a green tea. I love that in the afternoon. Um, honestly, it's, it's great. Um, and one more thing also is, is the sugar cravings. What used to happen is as well as the afternoon, um, I used to have really bad cravings in the evening and a lot of people I speak to get this. So I'd have my massive dinner, uh, and an hour later, like, oh, knackered and then blood sugar shoots up and you want something sweet. And this would be about 10 o'clock at night. <laughs> And my body would be like, I'm craving, I need something sweet. So I would then at 10 o'clock at night rate the biscuit tin because I need something sweet. And then you go to bed and you go to sleep. Um, so clearly you're having all this sugar and all this carb and then you go to sleep. So what's going to happen? Bloat. Okay. So what's happened is my uncontrollable after dinner cravings have been replaced by no cravings so that's a good replacement isn't it <laughs> um so as you can see guys um it's a combination of so many things um but i've made a lot of different changes over time and it really really has helped me to feel better and you know to drop two dress sizes and to be honest this is nothing to do with weight at all I don't even get on the scales. I, I, it's absolutely nothing to do with weight or weight loss. It's just about feeling better in yourself, feeling less bloated, because let's face it, we hate the bloat. You know, who really likes to feel bloated around their middle? Now I feel better. You definitely don't want to go there. Um, yes, love peanut butter. Karen, you know what? Karen Sutcliffe loves peanut butter. Me too. And I recommend it to everybody. Um because without the sugar, without the palm oil, uh, peanut butter is really, really good for you. And all these these crazy diets that say don't eat nuts and don't eat uh, peanut butter is crazy because it's it's really, really good for you. Yeah, the nuts is, is good protein. Um, anyway, guys, um, I hope this has helped you uh, a little bit. If you have any uh, uh, questions or, you know, want to help with anything, uh, please do uh, either message underneath or PM me um, with your with your questions, no problem. Um, so I think, cool, we've got nearly 15 minutes. I hope you've enjoyed this, guys. Um, I'm Jo Martin, Happy and Healthy with Jay, and I will be back on Facebook real soon. Have a great evening. Bye.